All right. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, yes. Yeah. All right. First off, to get us started, introductions, my guy. Tell us who you are and where you're coming from, bro. Uh, my name is Taxman Temps. I'm from Ones of Road, SWA. Been on Keynes, Essex, all over the guy. Forget me. Okay. Done on Shout CFTV. Done, though. Yes, 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 oh, yes. Love for that. So, tell us about the ends, bro. Tell us about where you grew up. What was it like? Um, I grew up in um, Albion Avenue, in Ones of Road. It was, it was all right, bro. Childhood was all right, still. Obviously, I had a lot of people around, man. It was a local community, and that you get me. Fucking, obviously, it was rough and that, you get me, growing up, you had to be, you couldn't be weak around the ends and that, you get me, otherwise you just get taken for victim and that, so there's a certain way you had to move around the ends, around the mandem and that. No one just to be accepted, it was just a rule in it, you get me, just to keep the ends, you know what I'm saying? Because the mandem were just, the mandem were active around there, you get me? <laughs> the mandem were active still, so. Yeah, it's just mad, like. Yeah, it was nice though, bruv. I used to play football as well growing up. It wasn't always about the grease thing. Man did a little bit of football, played for Fulham Academy and that. It was all right. But it didn't, I didn't take it far and that, you get me, obviously. You know what I'm saying? That's so, Yeah. Ends was nice, man. I just I just kept doing me, you know what I'm saying? Kept a sm- tried to keep a small circle and everything there, you get me? Just keep it moving, you know? That's way, right? That's yeah. way. Yeah. Like, but you mentioned as well, there's a community there as well. I mean, that shit matters, right? Yeah, community matters, bro. Because obviously, right now, as you can see as well, what's going on nowadays is that our community is getting targeted in different ways. So, I feel like it's time for us to start establishing that, you know, we're each other are not the enemy, innit? You see me and you in your community, or whoever you are in your community, you lot are not enemies, but, you know, we can't help what's going on right now as well, obviously, because of envi- environmental pressures and that, like, you get me, financial pressures, all of that, you get me, turns people mad, turn people crazy, people want to snake people, people want to do the mad thing. But the deeper issue is obviously the establishment, the police, all them and there, you get me, that's our main ops, isn't it? <laughs> for real, for real. <laughs> that's why we need the community to stay strong so these men can't infiltrate it and do what they did, you get me? But, Facts, facts, facts. Ah, uh, cool. How would you describe yourself in one word, bro? Uh, one word. Active. <laughs> active, get me? That's it, active, yeah. Okay. Active, yeah, just active. No, I like that, I like that, I like that. Okay, I'll go on to that in a second. But how would you say other people, like your friends and family, would, just, would describe you? <sighs> my family, boy. My family would tell you that I'm... Um, <laughs> You gotta say I'm a menace, innit? No. <laughs> I don't say I'm a menace, you get me? Like, raw. Like, honestly, yeah, menace, like, yeah, yeah. hard work, you know? Stubborn. <laughs> but you know what it is? I feel like, fucking, you can't help who you are, innit? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You can't help who you are, innit? Sometimes you try to be something and eventually just give up trying to be something. Just, Fuck it is where it is. People don't like me for who I am. And that's where it is, isn't it? Yeah. Like that, like that. What was your what? Did you think your brethren, your friends would say the same thing? Yeah, yeah, definitely. My brothers, <laughs> yeah. My brothers know I'm a hothead as well, innit? They know, innit? Like, you see, when I'm around the mandem and that, it's peak store, you get me? We bounce off each other's energy and whatever happens, happens, innit? You yeah, get me? It. Yeah, yeah, it's one of them ones, but. Yeah. No, I'm cool with the man. The man are cool with me. I think they're used to man, innit? Do you know what I'm saying? You know after a while, innit? The man will get used to you, innit? No, that's, that's my man. It's just that's just yeah. how he is, innit? You get me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So just, yeah, it's just adaptive. They're adapted to it, you get me? I hear that, I hear that. Where'd you go to school? You go to school? Them sides or? I went to school. I went to junior, local primary school in Stockport, one of the road. Then I went Silesian College in Battersea. That's a secondary school thing. Then from then, that's when they went A World. I went OT, Milton Keynes. And then, yeah, now I'm in Essex again. Wow. Yeah. Bow, bow, bow. How was that? How was that school? Like, that going through the school system? How was that for you? know what, yeah? The school system, obviously, man's from Ghana and that. So, my family were proper education orientated. Always trying to draw that in my head top. So, I thought that, I thought like that was the reason why. Man kind of stuck to the school thing. 
you know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, it wasn't a straightforward thing. I wasn't like, you know what I'm trying to say? I wasn't like a knee and that proper, but I got the work done, if that makes sense. I was the class clown, but I got the work done. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, the school system was all right. It was fun, innit? it? I feel like that's, that's, that's where you meet most of your friends, your networking, like for your life. You get me something, sometimes you, you see through and you duck people out and that, but more time that's when you meet your brethren for your life and that, you get me your day ones and that. So it's good. School system's all right, innit? Yeah. You don't really get that opportunity after you leave school again, innit? So. Nah, for real, for real. It's a good networking decision as well. You see what I'm saying, bro? Bro, nah, for real. Yeah. So what would you say first got you into music, bro? Um, boy, the music thing. Uh, boy, yeah, one time I was in my room, innit? Fucking. Obviously, my dad didn't. He used to play bare music first, innit? Like, he used to just bang music. He loved music. So when I was growing up, yeah big systems around the yard, bare speakers and that. And used to just pump out that. Yeah, true. Different types of music as well. R&B, you get me, the, the, you get me the African thing. Even jumped on the rap thing for me. It was, he, he brought me into that Dr. Dre and that Snoop Dogg and that, you know. Quite, he used to, be, used to bang that out and I was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's mad, big up my dad, didn't it? You get me? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that was your first inspiration then, like getting into like, music? Yeah, I feel like listening to like different types of music in the house and that. And then obviously one time I, I got my own st um, stereo thing in it, get me some Panasonic thing. It was like some tape, I had a tape player from the Fortune store. I had a tape player, CD player, all them old school things and that, you get me? A little Panasonic thing. And I had a Simon on the tape in it. It was um, DJ Slimzy, Dizzy Rascal and Wiley. And fucking, but I started listening to that set, you get me? And I was like, yo, these men are going hard. I think it was the first time I even heard the gram thing, you get me? You know what I'm saying? Proper. And I was like, yo, these men sound hard, you get me? So I tried to, I ripped my first eight bar lyric in it after I listened to that tape. I literally jumped straight into the pad. I wrote some shit lyrics, you get me? <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? Yeah, let me try to see if I can remember it. Right, hold on. Me and my blood called Younger Rumor, bopping down the streets any sooner, linking up with tight yetis, looking at the batties, getting each and every number. That's what I can remember. Damn, what was that? Yeah, little quick ones, you get me? Oh, quick draw ones as well. Quick gallus ones, them gallus bars, you get me? I wasn't even coming on the shank, shank, dip, dip, dip. I was like, yo, I was coming on the shank to draw gal, you know what I'm saying? Come on, come on. Yeah, I knew I was after. Yeah, I'm saying, trust me. Uh, so what yeah. would you say your your kind of music is now? What would you say your genre is? Alright, basically, I don't really like to put myself in a particular genre, innit? I can't lie, but I do make a lot of grime, hip-hop, and that sort of trap trap, you get me? You know what I'm trying to say? That 140, 145 BPM type music, skippy, anything that sounds, get me good, basically, you get me? Oh, fuck it, bro, I'll jump on it, bro. If it's an R&B thing, I won't even sing it, I'll rap on it, you get me? It sounds good. I'll try a thing, innit? You get me? Right, just a formula, innit? I like, I like, um, I like doing new things, new sounds, innit? You get me? I don't like doing the little, what do you want to call it? Like, the typical, everyone's doing the same sort of sound nowadays, you get me? So I'm just trying to step out the box and try and experiment, innit? You get me? See what yeah, happens. Yeah. That's, that's always been my formula, innit? I'm not trying to, trying to stand out, innit? If that makes sense, you get me? Mm. Yeah. What would you say your own creative process is then? And you got to approach creative? Good question. So, um, boy, my brother, uh, how I write my lyrics, my creative process is I'll firstly hear an instrumental in it. I feel like the instrumental is my bass in it. So, I'll, if I feel the beat, like, I've got like certain producers that I'm on holler as well in it. So, I'll go to their house, they'll play me bare beats, and I'll just choose bare instrumentals to get me, put them on a hard drive. When I go home, I've got my laptop there, you get me? Play the instrumental. Nah, this is where it gets a bit bad because I can write lyrics. I can write a tune in like if I was on it, yeah, I could write a tune in like 15, 20 minutes. How I write my lyrics is whatever comes to my head first, I'll just draw it down straight away, and then from that line, I'll just follow it through, and I'll do the same process. So I'll say, for instance, that yeah, man's chilling, sitting doing an interview. Yeah, if you look outside the window, you're the food, something, something, look at the view. You get me? I'll just better than, I'll edit it, I'll manipulate it. If it's all shit, if it's all dead, I'll go back to it, change it up, play the beat again, spit it again until it sounds. 
know what I'm saying? And then literally, it could be within days, but I'll go studio, lace it down straight away. So I can remember the, the, the flow in it. The flow's fresh though. Like you don't want to leave something for too long. Yeah, you forget, yeah, for You forget real. the flow and that. You get me the, the, the logistics of what you've written in it. Yeah, sometimes they don't know what pocket you're here. You see what I'm trying to say? It didn't sound like that when I read it, like, get me, you know what I'm saying? So, it's good to just go there straight away when it's golden. Okay, no, I heard that, I heard that. I said, get it when it's hot, man. Get it when it's hot, my brother, you get me? For real. So, what? In terms of, like, collaboration and that, are you currently working with any other artists or...? Oh, I'm a work. Okay, I've got one tune coming out. I've got something coming out with Wiley. Big up Wiley, the godfather, you get me? My brother. Um... Obviously, he's, he's guy. You get me? He, he's still out here. No matter what they're trying to say about my brother, he's still out here working. So we're trying to push that agenda. Like whatever their agenda, they're pushing. We're not following that. We're still working. So we got Wiley. Got something coming up with him. Don't know when it's gonna come out. Well, I've done my bit. You get me? And just waiting for him to clear his bit. And then we're outside. Um, Flirt D. I've got some. I've got Flirt. I've put a song coming up with Flirt D too. Coming up with Flirt D. Um, next week on the third of October, obviously, twenty twenty two. This might be out after this, but yeah, you know like that. It's coming out on the third of October. Um, who else? I've got a couple of American um, artists that I'm working with as well. I won't say they're like out there, out there, but they they do they doing their thing. You get me locally and that. You get me. I'm just trying to get a little fan base out there as well, and you get me and. I'm just trying to broad work with anyone and everyone that sounds hard, you get me? Because mm. you see where it is with me? I'm not a guy, you see certain men are bougie with it. They like, they don't want to work with certain men if they ain't got a following or, you know what I'm trying to say, if they ain't got a fan base or whatever. See me? I don't believe in all of that because you can, there's talented guys that ain't got views out here, innit? So I like to just risk it and, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I like to take risks, innit? You get me? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. yeah, man, you mentioned two, I mean, for me, I'd say legends there, man. Flirter, and Wiley. Wiley, like, yeah. Like, that's, that's definitely, like, an experience. How was it working with these two? Um, Flirter D, it was lit. It was lit. I can't lie, because you see Flirter D's got some, he's got a certain energy, blood, like, can't even explain it. You see, when you're around him and he does his thing, and you actually hear the sound of it's live, brother, it's the next thing, you get me? It just... Like, raw. Man, I used to listen to man on Channel U and now man's in the studio and he's doing all them ad libs man was growing up to. <laughs> True, man, was like, Yo, this is lit, you get me? But fam, yeah, now big up Flirter man, he's another guy, get me that that he doesn't he doesn't judge in it, he doesn't like look at status and that, do you know what I'm saying? That like, he doesn't he he would work with you. If he fucks with you, he'll work with you, innit? It doesn't matter how much reads you got, don't doesn't matter where you are in the music scene and that, where, where, where you at in the career and that, you'll fuck with you, fuck with you, innit? That's why I fucks with Flirter, he's real. They got Flirter, do you get me? Wiley, yeah, Wiley, I've met Wiley bare times, innit? Um, in 2021, innit? <clears throat> he had a uh, Igloo base, innit? He had a place called the Igloo, innit? Bare MCs from the Grand scene used to go there and link up and network, little events, clashes, it was lit, fam. That's why I proper got to connect with Wiley, innit? You get me? And the Igloo. And from then, literally, he's been reaching out to me on social media, like, obviously, he's not in the country at the moment. So I've been reaching out to him through uh, social media and that, innit? And he reached out to me to jump on the feature, bro. I was like, rah, you get me? Why not, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be ruined it. That's my reaction, oh, no, innit? Why yeah, not? Yeah. Get me. That's the Godfather. Big him up, brother. Mm-hmm. You get me? Yeah, man. So, it's, it's pending. It's pending. It's still. It's pending. No, sick, man. Sick. Man. Well done, bro. Well, that's that's a testament to what you're doing. Love for that, my guy. Love for that, my guy. Love for that, my guy. So that for you, like, who would you say your top five artists are at the moment? Top five, not all day, yeah. No, 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 just top five. Um, alright, UA, UK, USA. Up to you, bro. Alright, cool. Um, top five. Nipsey. Nipsey Hussle, rest in peace. Um, it, I, you know what, yeah? I'll say Dr. Dre, but not for the rapping thing. Do you know what I'm saying? More more production-wise, innit? Obviously, he's got bangers in that where he raps in it, but Dr. Dre, I see we see his tunes and his beats and that, that does something to my soul. Like, yeah, I can't even explain it, but 
Dr. Dre. Alright, Dizzy Rascal, you get me? The old school Dizzy Rascal. <laughs> Man, that's made distinctions. Yeah, I have to just. Yeah, Dizzy Rascal, you get me? Boy in the corner, Dizzy Rascal, you get me? Mm. They got Wiley as well. And um, one more person. So Wiley, Dizzy Rascal, Nipsey, Dr. Dre, and. Ooh, the last one, last one, last one. You know what? Stars P, my thing. I fucks with Stars P heavy. I always, yeah, yeah, Stars P. I have to put him on the list because. Mad thing. Interesting list, still. It's a, it's, a, it's a mixture of people. It's a, it's a good mixture, though. Yeah. It's a versatile list, man. For real. Right. Love for that, love for that. Right, so for you, what inspires you or who inspires you? Like, where do you draw your inspiration from? Personally, yeah. Mm. Inspiration, alright. Person not on my list, you know, I can't lie, imagine that. The person that I get my inspiration from when I first started spitting, like proper. It's not even on the list of my top five. Lil Wayne, so. Swear down. Lil Wayne. Monster in the booth. I should have put him on my top five. If it was a top ten thing, yeah, Lil Wayne, done though. Only because he's not consistent no more, innit? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Back in the day, we would have put him on my top five, yeah, but I don't hear no new Lil Wayne tunes at the moment, so it's mad. But yeah, Lil Wayne is my inspiration, but I fucks with him. His wordplay, delivery, bruv, he just dumps on every beat as well, just owns it like it's his thing. I like that, you get me? I like that shit, you get me? Making it all versions of tunes and just shitting on it, you get me? <laughs> no, no, for real, for real. That's yeah. the point he was definitely like, Releasing, man. Releasing, yeah, you can notice, you can notice that he's not releasing now. Oh, yeah. He needs to go in. Slow down a bit, man. But he's For a real. chief, man. He's a bun in this store, definitely. Definitely a legend in the game. Yeah, a little weird, definitely. Uh, so, what would you say to date has been one of the biggest obstacles you've had to face? <clears throat> okay, I've got a lot. Of, I've faced a lot still. Um, I said the biggest one's the police, bro. <laughs> Yeah, man, they're on my nuts, innit? Um, basically, yeah, the police, they're doing everything to fuck my shit up, innit? In terms of, like, all right, fucking, they locked all my brethren in jail. At one time, we was doing wrong fully. All my team got locked up. It was a mad Obo man's team. Every member got locked up, and then I was left out of the road, because God, God, uh, God willing, only because I had a job, innit? You get me? I saved, man. So I wasn't really a rat that I was around. But you see, when you go court and that, and you say you're working and that, they you get me. It helps you out with your sentencing and that. You know what I'm saying? So that was my only. You get me? But um, even though when all the men went in jail, the police, bro, I'm gonna hot them up. Sorry, but yeah, there's bare snitches on road that work with the police. The police let them do their thing. You know what I'm saying? Let them shot as long as they hand over information. You get me? And obviously, bro, that's what I was around, man. I was around bare fed. What you get me? People that work with the police trying to shut my shit down in every way. You get me? Mad thing. To the stage where if I was to do something, ride out, retaliate, feds know what's going on. Feds are there. Do you know what I'm saying? So it just got tight. First try locked me up so many times. I've bust 19 charges in the last four years. 19 NFAs, bro. That's how much the feds want me in jail. I've got one pending now, left. With no court date, nothing. I'm just on bail. I've been on bail since last year, October. Nothing I go out there. Just want to keep their lead on, man, innit? You get me? They don't like me being free for some reason, you know what I'm saying? So the feds are the biggest obstacle. Fuck the feds. Mad. Mad, mm. mad, mad, mad. I was about to say as well. Mm. Literally, the next question was going to be you being to prison or being arrested. Bro. Mm, yeah, 19 yeah. cases, bro. 19, bro. 19. Man, keep yeah. praying. <laughs> Whatever you do, man. Whatever you do, man. Because they're on your How case. They're on my case, bro. Bro, oh. literally. And it's not even like, bro, like, they're on my case for things that man did time ago. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, it's not even like man's active like that man, like, nowadays, innit? You get me? Man's on the humble thing, got a family, whatever. But they're on to me for shit man done time ago. Like, it's just like catching up to me. Do you know what I'm saying? That was there. What, do you like to elaborate? Anything? Like, what have you. What, what have been I done back in the for? day? And, uh, yeah, like, right. What have I been arrested for? Um, I got arrested for Peewits in, in Milton Keynes. Um, that's possession we've had to play. I got set up in it by a cat. 
bro, I went to go to lick a dot. And then a cat was there with her next brother, like two brothers. And like, they were, they were, they were obviously like dressed normally in it, you get me? So I went to go and bust a shot. It was normal. My pushback I was with one of my, one of my brethren. Um, basically, I pulled out the package and the feds just grabbed my hand, like, yeah, hey, you're under arrest for fucking da da da. I was like, what the fuck? You know, I was there, fam. I was baffled because obviously, but I didn't expect it to be fed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, I wanna put that oh, well, then, yeah, <laughs> there you go. So, yeah, I got nabbed, bro, still. Um, got nabbed for that. Uh, I've been nabbed for like bare battery, assaults, so free, obstructing police. Like, man, threw a fed on the floor when he tried to shift, man, one time in Watford. Uh, and he sprayed the shit out of my face with the CS thing. You get me? Fucking. What else? Fucking the rest of the Yeah, like, you get me? Apparently, man had I probably had a taser in my possession. You get me? I want it in my yard when they raided it. I had a taser, bare weapons. They gave the weapons back to man, and then they put a weapons mark on my name. So it did, it don't make sense. You give me back my weapons, and then you put a weapon mark on my name. So every time I get arrested now, there's like three hundred feds on my doorstep, bro, all the time now. So you lot are just setting me up for failure, but actually, what did you get me? It's mad, that's what's going on. These lot play games, fam. I, I could say a lot, but you know what I'm saying? I don't think we've got time for that, but yeah. Fam. Uh, <laughs> so the stories are there. The stories are there, you know oh, what I'm saying? Man, oh, man, oh, man. It's, it's real, it's real, it's been real, it's been real.